Epsom Workforce WF100. Are you frustrated with this printer because you're trying to figure out how to use it? You want a mobile printer that you can use in whatever for business you do out of your car? Cool. I got this off of eBay used uh, for like half off. Seems in good condition, but I am frustrated and aggravated because I'm figuring out how to use it. Anything that you get that's new, there's always a learning process that goes along with it. And so I spent three hours trying to get it all set up and understand the Wi-Fi direct thing with your phone or your tablet and had to do a bunch of researching because it seemed like it would be easy, but it wasn't. But once you get it and you finally understand it, it makes sense. So you go inside your phone under Wi-Fi. you got to go under Wi-Fi settings. Not like connecting to your router, but there's advanced settings and then there's a Wi-Fi direct setting. And then... Once you sync it, there's a code. I can't get any deeper than that. And then the next thing is replacing the ink cartridges is a pain in the ass. Uh, I just did it because there's these little tiny metal tab sensors. They're uh, like little tiny chips. Uh, see these right here. It was it, it was missing on a, a cartridge I ordered from eBay. And I was like, how is this thing going to work? Is this a defective? Supposedly you can take this little chip off and transfer it to the other one. I realized it had just fallen off and it was laying on my table next to the packaging. So I put it on there very carefully and for some reason it works. It doesn't even seem to electronically go inside. It just touches the sensors to communicate with them. I don't know what it does. But once you get all set up and you go through this process, now it says that this maintenance box is now full. So if you go to the back of the printer, you can see there are these tabs. You open it up. Come on. Okay, so you got this maintenance box thing. This dumps all the ink that the printer doesn't use, the waste ink, and it fills it up. So you got to replace this thing all the time too. Uh, look up the model number, order the right one, hopefully. Uh, trying to flush it yourself would probably be not worth its time. So you got to replace the ink and the maintenance box. Uh, I think uh, so far it's a pretty good printer. I bought this other HP something jet, mobile desk jet printer. It was a mobile one from like 2011 that came out. That was good too, but that thing was a pain in the ass because every single time you went to print something, Oh, it didn't sync right. Now you got to download this packet of information. Then you're going to transfer to this. And you're sitting there for 10 minutes trying to... It would take me... Fit. I got so sick of it that I just started doing handwritten invoices in my business. So I finally am going to go to this mobile thing again. You know, it's 2018. This is what we got. And um, I just did a first print on it. I'll show you what it looks like. Actually, I can't because I have client information on there. <laughs> so yeah, this is... Kind of like my review. I tried to charge it by a USB cable with my phone charger, a lightning charger, and it said it was charging the little charge indicator, but I think it's just for communication purposes because it wasn't charging for shit and I had to actually plug in the actual thing. So if you've got a power ver inverter in your car that plugs into your cigarette lighter, that would be best. And I've got a socket in my F 150 400 water, so it should work good. And then I'm actually gonna get um, get a nice plastic clipboard to keep my paper nice and see how it works. Print two copies one for you and one for your customer with all the contract. Sign both, you keep your copy, they keep theirs, and higher perceived customer value because it's printed. I hope that helped. I really did. These little options and all that shit on the LCD screen. Uh, I think it's one of those things you just have to block time and set out and sit there for three hours learning how to use it. It's not going to be a magical thing. So if you're frustrated, uh, so was I. And I finally got it working. I'm about three and a half hours into this. And now, now it's good.